what are your thoughts on Brian Westbrook's career here in Philadelphia? It's one of the great stories in, in the Eagle history. Seriously, you think of this guy at Villanova. Nobody saw him play at Villanova. But the Eagles, for all their criticism, picked this guy, and he became one of the best running backs in the league. Remember, Reggie Bush was coming out at the Heisman Trophy, the best running back ever. And to me, and I said this at the time, Brian Westbrook has had a much better career than Reggie, than Reggie Bush. Without the fanfare, he came in here and he overachieved. He was the best screen pass catching running back in Eagles history. In fact, to this day, the Eagles still try to throw the screen pass, and they don't have anybody who can do it as well as Brian Westbrook. He was phenomenal. He's one of those Eagle guys, even though he didn't win a Super Bowl, he's one of the greatest running backs in Eagle history. Not just statistically, but for what he did every week going out there. and He carried this team. He was pretty much the offense for a long time on this team when they didn't have any good receivers and McNabb was trying to make plays. But Ryan Westbrook, number 36, they'll probably retire one day. This Sunday, they will be honoring uh, the great Brian Westbrook. And um, I just wanted your thoughts on his career and his honoring. Well, i got to tell you, I, I didn't think Brian Westbrook would turn out to be Brian Westbrook. When they drafted him in Villanova, I said, eh, it was a curiosity pick. But uh, I soon learned that uh, this is a guy that competed every down. And in Philadelphia, that worked so well because he, he, he could tell that he really wanted to win and he played hard. And I look at him now and he's like a media darling. But back then, he was so just uh, closed up and, and shy and quiet and he just pertained to his business. And he's a guy that Philadelphia fans will always love because of the way he played. Yeah. And listening to him talk to you guys, I mean, he's great. And he even fires back at you. He asks you questions. He, he really does. And I didn't see that side of him. When you when you ask him questions as a football player, uh, he, he was always close to the vest. And I think he knew that that was professional athlete protocol. Like, mm -hmm. don't give too much of yourself. And then outside football, we see there's a lot of himself. Yeah. He's got horses. He's, he, he does. He's all over he's the place. He's a man about town. He is. Um, of all the Brian Westbrook plays, what has to be your favorite? Punt return. The punt mm -hmm. return against the Giants that uh, came out of nowhere. and uh, It was such a great moment, and he was such a threat. This was early in his career. He was a threat when uh, he got the punt. You knew something was going to happen. We haven't seen that in a really long time. Uh, Brian Westbrook was really the last guy that you, you pinned hopes on that could take one to the house. What is your take on his eight-year career here in Philadelphia? Uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, here's a guy who, you know, gets recruited to Villanova, had a good high school career, but it looks like Villanova was one of the top options for him. He goes to the NFL, and he succeeds at a high level. And you sit there and you say, you know, who did all the scouting on this guy? I mean, here's a guy, like, goes to Villanova, not the biggest football program, great basketball school, but not for football, at least uh, in my opinion. And, you know, you got to almost wonder if you should file a grievance against all these people that put together these scouting reports. I mean, it's almost as much of a crime that he was only ended up playing at Villanova, it's almost as bad as me not knowing who Charles Lindbergh is. And I still don't know who it is, and I've read the Wikipedia page, but it's still not ringing a bell. But, uh, no, he had a great career. Um, it's kind of sad that his career got cut short because of the injuries. Um, and here's a running back who had six, seven great years in Philadelphia, uh, goes out to San Francisco, and then it all comes to an end. But um, we always rip Andy Reid for all the, the, the failed draft picks, but here's a guy that he found um, and was probably the most explosive player that he's ever had that he brought in himself. I mean, T.O. was from the outside. I mean, excluding McNabb. I mean, you look at Westbrook. I mean, from the, the punt return standpoint, the running back, um, catching passes out of the backfield, this was a dynamic player who had a nice career considering he came from Villanova and many people didn't expect him to be, you know, an all-pro caliber player. And I think one thing that we should appreciate is that his, those injuries took their toll to the extent that it ended his career earlier than it would have ended. Mm -hmm. Meaning, when I say appreciate, like, take that 08 season when the Eagles got to the championship game. He laid it on the line. He had bad ribs that year. He had broken ribs. He had a bad knee. He had a high ankle sprain, and I think the concussion was that year also. Four injuries. And I think he only missed one or two games, and he kept playing through these injuries. And ultimately, I'm convinced it's part of why he had to retire earlier, why he wore down earlier than most people players would, you know, why he would have. Um, he left money on the table from that standpoint. He laid it on the line. Um, if he doesn't play in those games, the Eagles don't make the playoffs that year, let alone get to the championship game, obviously. So I just got a lot of respect for the way he played the game, obviously how he carried himself. He was very rootable. And, uh, you know, I think it's awesome that he's, um, you know, he's still living in, you know, Maryland, but just the way he's hanging around the community and being involved with the Fanatic. And you can tell that he wants to do more and more stuff in Philly, and we like when our athletes kind of stick around the area.
Well, to my friend and now colleague, uh, Brian Westbrook, one of the great Philadelphia Eagles of all time, and I, I mean, there's a lot of guys that could be in that category, but Brian really helped define a really good era in Philadelphia. And he was, you know, he was the center part. Donovan McNabb and Brian Westbrook were the, the central pillars to that era. And Brian was such an instrumental part to the success that they had. Uh, and it was, it was all phases. You know, it was his punt returns. It was his receiving. It was his running. It was his blocking. And it was his overall toughness. And the fact that he took that toughness on the road, hostile environments, big games, and he thrived in those environments. And so those are the things that make up, you know, a professional. Those are the things that make up a guy that we talk about for a long time after they get done playing. And uh, we memorialize him, and, and, for, and for good reason. Um, maybe the toughest guy on the team. And that type of toughness is what really uh, football is all about. And if you want to be successful over a stretch of time, you've got to have those type of people that can really show up and deliver and play with that type of love and intensity, you know, in the whole thing. So to Brian Westbrook out there, man, we loved you. We thought the world of you. And I don't know if there'll never be another Brian Westbrook in Philadelphia. What do you, what's your take on his great career here as a Philadelphia? Brian Westbrook. If, first of all, you know, it starts in the backyard of Philadelphia. Villanova University. You don't hear that too often. You know, the Eagles knew about B. West because he was here in Philadelphia ripping it up right down the road in the main line. And it started there. And you just, like I said, you don't hear that in other organizations, you know. So th that's why it means a little bit more to me, Eagles fans as well. Um, but B. West, what can you say about the guy? He did it all. Catching the ball out of the backfield, returning punts early in his career. First and foremost, the number one memory is Giant Stadium uh, when he returned a punt and they went ahead. I think final score might have been 12-10, something along those lines. But uh, that's the first memory that comes to my mind. But B. West, he was just... I mean, he was, he was what you want your football player to be, your running back to be. I mean, we all remember what he did at Dallas, takes the knee right at the one-yard line. Yep, we'll never forget that. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's something that doesn't happen this day and age in football. They think about getting in the end zone. Yeah, I know Ahmad Bradshaw tried to do it last year in the Super Bowl, and he failed. He couldn't even do it. B. West did in a regular season game, takes a squat right there at the – well, sits down at the one-yard line. Yes, that's what he did, so – uh, B. West, yeah, the ultimate football player and one of the best Eagles of all time. So I wanted uh, your take on his career and what you think about the celebration this weekend. Well, I remember when he played for Villanova, and, uh, you know, you don't watch a lot of Villanova games, but you knew that he was really good because he was an all-purpose guy. He could catch the ball. He could return punts, return kickoffs. You knew he was going to be a steal. And when Andy Reid took him in the third round, I remember saying to one of my friends, this is going to be a, a future all-pro, you know, pro bowl guy. And they're like, oh, come on, a guy out of Villanova. And he really was. And he just wasn't gifted athletic athletically. He was a smart guy as well to where the thing that actually really impressed me was he worked hard at his craft and being five foot eight or five foot nine, five foot ten, whatever he is, he could run the ball, he could catch the ball, but he also used to pick up the blitz like something you'd never believe. And it's something that LaShawn McCoy needs to work on a lot like Brian Westbrook did because he would have a 250-pound linebacker flying in on a blitz and B. West would just pretty much take him out and jack him and send him flying so Donovan didn't get hit. So uh, Brian, definitely one of my favorite Eagles uh, players, if certainly for that particular generation and era of Eagles football, and he's certainly well-deserved that he's going to be uh, you know, getting his day down at Lincoln Financial Field.